And uh, some background to that is South Africa's economy is highly transport intensive with an almost excessive dependency on road freight transport. And today you'll be uh, privy to exclusive insights into some of the shortcuts in the trucking industry that expose the industry to risk, as well as the latest technologies aimed at preventing and mitigating these risks. Um, brokers are the lifeblood of our business. Without our brokers, um, we obviously would not be here today. And I'm now going to introduce Jethro Jenkinson. Out of 10 trucks they tested recently on a, one of their N3 um, fleet watch setups, eight out of those 10 vehicles failed roadworthiness testing. Now when I say driver error, what do I talk about? I'm referring specifically to fatigue, and driver distractions. This is where we introduce now the DSS driver safety system or seeing machines. Through the use of algorithms, a face mask picks up the driver's face and monitors his eyelids and measures eyelid closure. Any eyelid closure exceeding 1.5 seconds and 16 kilometers an hour, the seat will vibrate and immediately wake the driver up or alert him to the current fatigue situation. Ladies and gents, we're going to break for a cup of tea and uh, for two presentations which are going to take place outside. I'd like to quote the Socrates who said that, as it said on the board there, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old but on building the new. The pace of change around us is speeding up every single day. I think no one is exempt, even us as insurers, even us as a transport industry, none of us are exempt. Brings me the worst trend in the industry. I think the standards in the industry are shocking. The worst I've seen in years. Okay, and anything goes. They guess machines, unless you operate them properly, unless they properly maintain. It's a death machine. And, but the problem is also, our culture out there doesn't look at road safety as a body. The person, it looks at it as a body count. Okay, that is a video. It shows a truck coming at a guy, driving along very nice. Now the, truck overtake the other one in the mist and it sickens. That's how quick death is. Seconds away. And that's an in cave camera becoming very good. You're talking about technology. Let's take a walk around and unroad with the reek. Yeah I have Martin Barnard. And Martin Barnard was a is a professional driver. He's been off the road for three months now. Um, and he was Fleet Watch driver correspondent, in fact still is Fleet Watch driver correspondent. So Martin, basically you as a professional truck driver uh, would not get behind the wheel of this? No, no, no. Most definitely not. Okay. Uh, so it's not my type of style. Um, and it shouldn't be the style of the industry either. Of players, no, any player no, in the industry. No, but, but it's, it's cheapies man. Guy, guys buy this, buy this truck and next to that. Fix it here and there and put it on the road and let's go, let's make money. We do transport. And then of course a very big thank you to our sponsors, insurance underwriting managers, the IUM, without whom this wouldn't be possible this morning. Thank you very much guys.